In the heart of the bustling concrete jungles and forgotten towns, a whisper of change is stirring. Picture this, a world where the very streets we walk become not just thoroughfares of concrete and steel, but avenues of connection, sustainability and resilience. Imagine, if you will, a transformation so profound that it turns the tide of overconsumption and emotional isolation, fostering instead a sense of unity, of togetherness, of village living. This is the essence of grassroots resilience, a quiet revolution in the making. It's as if the earth beneath our feet is murmuring, whispering stories of a time when communities thrived, not in spite of their surroundings, but because of them. It harks back to an era when our homes were more than just boxes of solitude, cordoned off from our neighbours by walls of indifference and fear. What if we could turn back the clock? What if we could reclaim the sense of unity, of shared purpose that once defined us as human beings? What if we could transform our streets, our neighbourhoods, these sprawling urban landscapes into pathways of community and sustainability? This is more than just a dream. It's a vision born from the seeds of change. Seeds that are being sown in the hearts and minds of those who dare to believe in and remember in their hearts a better way of living. It's about reimagining our communities as a web of contribution and connection. Each one a beacon of resilience, each one a testament to the power of community. But what does village living mean in the 21st century? It's about breaking down the barriers that divide us, replacing the cold isolation of commerce with the warm embrace of community. It's about creating spaces that nurture our souls, places where we can grow, learn and thrive together. It's about fostering a sense of belonging, of shared responsibility, of collective resilience. This is not about rejecting progress or turning our backs on technology. It's about redressing the imbalance of wealth over well-being about weaving together the old and the new to create a fabric of life that is emotionally rich, ecologically diverse and environmentally sustainable. It's about looking to past wisdom to find the solutions for the future. What if, instead of isolation, centralization and consumption, we could cultivate thriving villages? This is the question that fuels grassroots resilience. It's a call to action a challenge to each and every one of us to play our part in shaping a better, brighter, more resilient future. Our modern neighbourhoods, these isolated island houses amidst concrete and metal, have been designed as consumer corridors rather than social bridges. Picture a maze of grey, a labyrinth where life is compartmentalised, each family an island, each house a fortress to hide from each other. We've traded our green fields for concrete slabs, our starlit skies for orange neon haze, our neighbourhoods are no longer nurturing nests, they've become hungry, impersonal spaces. The impact of this design is palpable. It's etched into the soulless streets, the plastic parks, the empty graffitied benches. It's felt in the hollow echo of a neighbour's closed door, the distant revving of a car engine starting, the faint glow of a television screen behind a curtained window. It's a silent epidemic of isolation, a pandemic of disconnection, a contagion of loneliness. And without love, we care not for the natural world around us. And what does this mean for our mental health, our community engagement, our local skills and resources, our environmental sustainability? We now live in a society where a heartfelt hello to our neighbour is considered an effort, where community gatherings are a rarity, where sustainability is an afterthought rather than a way of life. We've become so engrossed in our own media wall worlds that we've forgotten the world outside our front doors driven to buy and have, not make and grow. The race to produce, transport and consume devours not only our land, but our sense of self-sufficiency, community, resilience and well-being. We've built walls and narrow roads to retail parks, where we should have built bridges to open spaces. But it's not too late to change. It's never too late to transform our neighbourhoods, to reclaim our sense of community, to prioritise our mental health and environmental sustainability. The time for change is now. The race to consumption and same-day delivery need not be our destiny. Imagine a world where we are not isolated islands of consumption, but interconnected contributors, local creators working together, being there for each other. An enchanting thought, isn't it? A place where every house is more than just a dwelling, but a piece of a larger intertwined tapestry of community collaboration and connection. 
Welcome to the connected community village model, a stark contrast to our modern centrally controlled systems. In the heart of a village lies the village commons, a shared garden, a community hub. These are the veins that pump life into the body of a village, the threads that weave the tapestry of community. A space that is neither mine nor yours, but ours. A place where paths cross and stories intertwine. A stage for the grand drama of life, where the laughter of children mingles with the wisdom of elders. Imagine a village green, a bustling marketplace, a tranquil park, a lively playground. Picture a patchwork quilt of green, where each square tells a unique story of nature and nurture. Not the manicured lines of mown lawns, but nature producing naturally. This is the realm of permaculture, the art of working with, rather than against nature. In these gardens, the community nurtures the soil, and in return, the soil feeds the bellies and nurtures the souls of the community. A harvest of vibrant vegetables, a bounty of beautiful blooms, a shared investment in food security, and a tangible testament to the fruits of collective labour. Let's move on to the community hubs, the pulsating hearts of a village. A community hub is more than just a building. It's a living entity, a dynamic space that adapts to the needs and dreams of the villagers. It could be a library humming with whispered words and rustling pages, a community kitchen resonating with the clatter of pots and the sizzle of spices, or a workshop echoing with the rhythm of hammers and saws. From digital design to dirt under the nails, all supporting the circular needs of each other. These spaces invite villagers to learn, to create, to contribute, to belong. Let's initiate this transformation by creating our own village councils and sharing circles. Propose and discuss the village model in intimate forums such as ours. Emphasize its advantages and share stories of successful transformations where we find them. Our voices have the power to bring about change, so let's ensure they're heard. Next, we could connect with other community organizations, local growing groups, conservation volunteers, well-being practitioners. Such groups are often in search of forward-thinking concepts to enhance the quality of local life. Introduce them to our vision, collaborate and co-create. Furthermore, numerous learning resources and transformation tools can help us in this endeavor. Online platforms can present a plethora of knowledge on permaculture, community building and self-sufficient living. Books, podcasts and documentaries can also provide motivation and practical advice. Let's not stand idly by and wait for change, let's embody that change. Let's start small and dream big. Let's be the catalyst that starts a ripple effect, eventually creating a wave of change. Time to roll up our sleeves and plant the seeds of self-sufficiency. We can share the concepts of creating grassroots resilience through the Connected Communities Village model, a beacon of hope, offering higher rates of community participation, self-sustainability and improved public health. We can explore the design key patterns of a village, the commons, shared gardens and community hubs, each a vital thread in the fabric of community living. We can offer practical steps to help you begin this transformative journey. We can engage with local leaders, align with community organisations, using the resources at our disposal. Each step, no matter how small, each voice, no matter how soft, is a stride towards a sustainable, connected and healthier future. Take the first step. Help become the architect of your neighbourhood's transformation. Thank you for your time. It's valuable, we know. But let's continue this conversation in the comments below. And stay connected by clicking on the subscribe button so you don't miss out.